a diving group called the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society took part in at least three diving expeditions to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. This is a list of their 2006 board of directors and staff. This affidavit of search warrant documents the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society's history of artifact theft from the Great Lakes bottomlands. Many of these stolen artifacts are on display in the Shipwreck Museum at Whitefish Point, but they are now the property of the people of Michigan. This page from the search warrant documents the Shipwreck Society's removal of a ring from a human skeleton that they now display in their museum. This Department of Natural Resource Law Enforcement Report of Investigation summarizes the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society's violations of Michigan law regulating shipwrecks and underwater artifacts. This Michigan Attorney General letter documents the state's negotiations with the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society about the stolen artifacts. This settlement agreement specifies that from 1993 forward, any Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society employee or board member caught illegally taking artifacts from the Great Lakes bottomlands shall be removed from office. Some of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society's history of violating Michigan's Underwater Salvage Act is documented in the YouTube video, Grave Robbers of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society's 1994 violation of the Ontario Heritage Act and their settlement agreement with the State of Michigan just one year after they signed it is documented in the YouTube video Operation Taconite on the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald and the YouTube video Congressman Stupak's Special Interest. The Ontario Ministry of Culture issued a license to Joe McGinnis to conduct underwater archaeological exploration survey or field work on the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald in 1994. The archaeological license specified the following. Retrieval of artifacts from underwater sites is not covered under this license. No penetration of the wreck by persons or objects shall take place, including wheelhouse, deck cabins, or any other enclosed space on the vessel. No silt, corrosion, or any other surface covering on or around the vessel, its equipment and machinery shall be removed or disturbed. And this license does not authorize the disinterment of human remains. Harbor Branch Oceanographic provided their submersible Clelia for the 1994 McGinnis dives to the wreck of the Evan Fitzgerald. The pre-launch checklists show the following dive participants. Dive number 237 on July 3, 1994. On board was pilot Dave Norquist of Harbor Branch Oceanographic. Dominic Libatori of Harbor Branch Oceanographic, and Demir Shaitil, a Canadian photographer. Dive number 238 on July 3, 1994. On board was pilot Dave Norquist of Harbor Branch Oceanographic, Joe McGinnis, the dive licensee, and a Canadian explorer with a company called Undersea Research Ltd., and Larry Elliott, President of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society Board of Directors and anchor for WJRT TV 12 ABC out of Flint, Michigan. Dive number 239 on July 4th, 2007. On board was pilot Tim Askew, Jr. of Harbor Branch Oceanographic. Tom Franquist, Executive Director of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, and Jean Quirin of the Board of Directors of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society. Dive number 240 on July 4, 2007. 
on board was pilot Tim Askew, Jr. of Harbor Branch Oceanographic, Tim Askew, Sr. of Harbor Branch Oceanographic, and Ann Swartzen, Washington Post correspondent. Dive number 241 on July 5, 2007. On board was pilot Tim Askew, Jr., Harbor Branch Oceanographic, Bud Wildman, Canadian politician and Ontario Minister of Environment, Energy, and Native Affairs, and Demir Shaitil, Canadian photographer. Dive number 242 on July 5, 1994. On board was pilot Ben Chiang of Harbor Branch Oceanographic, Tom Baldini of the International Joint Commission, and currently an aide to U.S. Representative Bart Stupak, and John Flesher, Associated Press Correspondent. The Ontario Ministry of Culture issued an extension to Joe McGuinness's archaeological license in 1995. This was when the bow was salvaged from the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The 1995 license had the same restrictions except that it allowed the removal of the ship's bow. The license still prohibited the penetration of the wreck by persons or objects, including wheelhouse, deck cabins, or any other enclosed space on the vessel. It was during this series of dives that a beer can was placed in the pilot house of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Coming soon on YouTube, a video entitled that was a beer for her dad on the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Also on YouTube, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, Dive Number 241, a series from two hours of underwater video footage of the 1994 dive to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald.